Welcome back to Sirius XM Speedway. That's my credo. No regrets. Here's Dave Moody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Heading for the top of the hour at 866 Pit Lane. Mike in Indiana. Hello, Mike. Hi, right, how you doing, Dave? Good. I had a question on two of them, like the caution at the 25 laps, you know, mandatory caution. You know, they never used to do that. So the first 25 laps, I'm sitting there watching like, okay, why is the leader even trying to, you know, if he builds like a five-second lead, that would, you know, and keeps that up. Instead, they throw the caution, so I still don't really stand that. They've been making tires for years now. And the Jimmy Johnson would uh, if if somebody that you that you loved and cared about was behind the wheel of one of those cars, would you rather them be safe than sorry? Well, don't they test those and know what they got before they it's, get there? It's impossible for every condition. Uh, temperature can vary at this time of year. Temperature can vary by thirty or thirty-five degrees. The sun can be out. The sun can be in. The track can be green. The track can be you know rubbered up. There, there are wild variations that can happen out there. Well, you know, every time I hear that, it's, when I turn the race on, well, there's going to be a caution. I think, okay. No, that that that, that, that obviously it. doesn't happen every time. We we all you know that as well as I do. I know. And the Jimmy Johnson spin, the first one where he didn't hit nothing. You know, I've been watching for years, and they never throw cautions on that kind of stuff. What deal with that? He's in the middle of the racetrack, Mike. Was he? Well, you were you were watching. You tell me, was he? Well, they don't show everything, you know. Mike, they showed yeah, Jimmy Johnson spinning out. They, they they did. You said you were watching. You obviously saw it. I saw it. But... Yeah, when he's sitting in the middle of the racetrack, they throw a caution. Okay, I thought he kind of went down towards the inside wall out of the way. So yeah, yeah. If if <laughs> if, if he'd been if he'd been able to control where his car went, Mike, he might not have spun out to begin with. That's the whole nature of spinning out. You're you are by definition out of control, and as such, don't have the ability to choose where your car ends up. Yeah, well, you know, I liked it because I'm not a Johnson fan. Right. I'm in there to see other people. I don't want the same boring thing every mm -hmm. time. You know, right? What variety. Right. Gotcha. Why does all these millions of dollars these people have? Why can't they get 43 cars that are Top quality, you know, they can put a man on the moon, all these spaceships. But yeah, yeah. 40 cars get well, let me, <laughs> let me, let's find out. Are, are you, are you one of the best 40 in the world at what you do? No, probably not. Why not? Well, uh. We can put a man on the moon, Mike. Why can't you shape up and be one of the best 40 in the world at whatever it is you do? Well, can't they buy the good part? Mm. Can't you? I mean, what 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 do you do for a living? Carpenter. What? Why aren't you the best carpenter of the world? Can't you afford the the, the the tools and the equipment and the stuff you need? Why aren't you up there? Well, I mean, I might be. I guess what I do. Uh, no, I don't think you are. <laughs> I, I think I think you were being honest with me when you said that you were not one of the top forty carpenters in the world. Why not? Well, I mean, there's you got guys ten laps down, you know, and they don't uh -huh. hit the wall. Why can't you're, I mean, you're probably ten guy. laps down? You're probably ten laps down in the carpentry world to the guy that builds Donald Trump's houses. You know, I think you know where I'm coming from. I mean, some I, people, uh, Mike, I do. Uh, I'm a, I'm afraid you don't you don't understand that it's not as simple as just saying, well, if I've got to spend $200 million to catch Rick, Rick Hendrick, even though I don't have $200 million, I'll spend it. That's not the way the world works. Well, there's a lot of rich people out there. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess they're just not interested, huh? Uh, yeah, that's it. They spend the money to come racing in Cup, but they just don't care. That's why they're here, you think? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you're right. You're, you're right. You don't. We landed on the we can put a man on the moon. We can put a man on the moon. Why can't we have a race where all 43 guys win? I loved every direction of where that call went. You know what I love? You know, I, this is the this is my favorite part about three-day weekend Monday shows. You get people that have just that, that have just had a, a, enough of the old 
liver nipper that they'll say whatever they've been thinking but are too smart to say the rest of the time. I love how it began with, you know, they don't show everything. If there's one thing that I can give our friends at Fox some a lot of props for is when, when something happens, you get it from like five different angles. So you, they definitely showed everything. I uh, I saw Jimmy Johnson spin out on TV. Why'd they throw the caution? Because he was in the middle of the track. Oh, I didn't see that. You saw him spin, but you didn't see where he was? I mean, he, he, he wasn't in aisle 17, you know, women's wear and, 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 and dainty under things at the Target. He's in the middle of the racetrack at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Hence the caution flag. Well, geez, Dave, why didn't he just, you know, spin down to the bottom where it was nice and convenient? Well, because he was, by definition, out of control. 99.999% of the time, if you see a guy wreck on the racetrack, it's because he's out of control. No longer fully in command of his respective race car or hers. Sounds like there's a, a lot of empty coolers on some back porches today. God bless them. I wish one of them was mine. I have no problem with it. I'm, I'm more than willing to suffer through, uh, to navigate my way through a couple of these in the, in the course of the next hour or so. Perfectly happy to do it. God bless America. Thank you to our veterans who allow people to have three or four beers. Then call a national radio show and say, I have a question about that wreck I saw on television. What happened? Well, you saw it. You tell me what happened. God bless America that we have the right. Have a couple of barley pops and call old Moody. America. There's more Sirius XM Speedway to come. And that's the good part. Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Channel 90.